it from the Wachovia Center in Philadelphia. It's the Philadelphia 76ers and the Dallas Mavericks. Hi, everybody. I'm Marv Allen, along with Steve Kerr. Steve, as this one gets going, what does Dallas have to do tonight? Well, the coaching staff has to be very concerned with Kyle Korver. Uh, he's one of the best three-point shooters in the NBA. They want to pick him up and make him put the ball on the floor. He's not particularly adept at scoring off the dribble. And he's a guy who can catch fire. You mentioned the three-point shooting. That is the major concern during the course of his career. Uh, he has been shooting 41% from beyond that three-point line. Gets the friendly roll. This team is really attacking offensively, Mark, getting out on the wings and running the floor. Off the mark. Corvo again. Mark, they did a terrific job getting the ball in the paint. Just didn't make the basket. Sets it up. And he's fouled from behind by Stackhouse. Igudala to the line. He's 75% at the line. I think Igudala has a chance to be one of the best defensive players in the league, Marv. He's about 6'8", got long arms, very quick laterally, and he's got a tough disposition, the kind of guy who really is willing to get after it at the defensive end. Nowitzki walks it across for three, not able to hit the three. One minute remaining in the first Iverson quarter. taking it to the rim. Yes. Well, the only way to get back into this game is to play solid defense, but then finish that off by securing the rebound. Avery Johnson wants to talk. Dallas. Dallas now has five timeouts left. And looking for the three. Down there. Able to succeed with that box out. Maybe an ill-advised shot, Mark, but probably a result of terrific defense. The jumper is off the mark. Terrific rhythm offensively, just couldn't make the shot. And Dirk Nowitzki able to put it down. Good opportunity here for a two-for-one, Marv. They can get a good shot here and still end up with another possession. Iverson from downtown, a wide-open shot. Dirk Nowitzki will put it home. Iverson for three and rebounded by Terry. Dallas gets it across. We're down to the final seconds. Yes, from downtown, Josh Howard. Final seconds, and this will do it for the quarter as he flings it. Well, as the first quarter draws to a close, the Mavs trail by two.
All right, here we go. They'll put it in play. Nowitzki comes across. Good job by Iverson. Nowitzki penetrating. Able to handle it. Udigala, nice move. What an acrobatic maneuver, Mark. That was a spectacular play. That was a three-point attempt. Off the mark. Well, he couldn't get that one to go, but as the game goes on here, Marv, I would expect him to start knocking down open shots like that one. Iguodala met by Howard. And Andre Iguodala could not finish. Oh, that's good, solid defense there, Marv. You've got to contest every shot. I like what this club is doing. Nefiski makes his move and stuffs. Iverson at the line. He's an 81% free throw shooter. When people around the league talk about uh, Allen Iverson, uh, the question always comes up, isn't it amazing that his body has not broken down? Uh, he's a guy who's usually among the league leaders in minutes played, despite uh, the tough shots that he takes throughout the season. Well, he has his flaws, there's no question. You, you, know, you have to wonder about some of his shot selection, but you cannot question his toughness. I mean, this guy just goes all out every game, draws fouls, hits the floor, but continues to attack the rim. And that's why game after game you see him at the free throw line. Terrific help defense there, Marv, on the interior. Terry on the hump goes to the pull-up from downtown. That's a 12-4 run for the Mavericks. Great push here, Marv, and you can feel the home crowd starting to get a little restless. Iguodala with the jumper. And he's fouled from behind by Terry. Allen there to the line. He's a 70% free throw shooter. Misses them both. Nowitzki finds the room, and the bucket. Very difficult attempt there, Mark, but he gets the ball to go in. Iguodala to the rim, and Andre Iguodala thought he was fouled, was looking for a call. And they clear it out. Howard goes to the pull-up. That's the end of quarter number two. The Mavs lead by two.
The Mavericks have the lead as this third quarter will get underway. But the Steve, we've seen this team blow leads to the past. They've had they've had problems. Yeah, I think the first five or six minutes of the third quarter is going to be very interesting to watch. While we'll see if this club is focused, ready to play. You need to be more alert defensively. Terry guarded by Dallin there. Beautiful switch. Terry accelerating. Jason Terry Jason puts Terry. it down. Mo Cheeks needs to call a timeout here, Mark. This game is sliding away from this club. They've got to regain their composure. Iguodala on a quick release. Box out by Harris. Well, the defense was extremely fortunate there, Mark. You can't expect to give up wide open looks and win a close game. Devin Harris called for the intentional foul. Iverson forcing the shot. Offensively, that's what they wanted to do, Marf. They got a shot in the lane, but they've got to convert. Anytime you have the advantage on a break, it's important to get a good shot. That one, I don't know. Contested more. I think it was a bad shot, personally. And he is fouled by Howard. Iguodala at the line. Iguodala with 11 points. Nefiski powering his way in. And the offensive foul will give it back to the Mavericks. A timeout taken midway through this third quarter. Dallas now has three timeouts left. And the ball back to the 76ers. The ball will go back to the Mavericks. Mavericks ball. Iguodala finds the opening, and Andre Iguodala able to put it down. Love with the score tied, this is an excellent opportunity for this club to take the lead. A two-for-one situation to end the quarter. Iverson. Second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Handled by Weber. Iverson gets space. And fires one up. And Andre Iguodala off the mark. Stackhouse sets it up. They clear it out. And fires one up. And Dirk Nowitzki hits on the pull-up. And he flings it. And 
the end of the third quarter. The score is tied. Philadelphia will throw it in. Here's Iverson. Nice ball movement. Nefritsky from downtown. Rebound by Dallenberg. Looks like they're going to switch to a zone. Uh, they've been in man-to-man -man most of the way, but this is what a lot of coaches do to try to disrupt the flow of the offense. And rebounded by Harris. They dodged a bullet there, Marv. He had nobody near him. Nowitzki sets it up. Oh, what a shot by Stackhouse. Great execution offensively. You have to find open looks to win a close game. Iverson sets it up. Oh, what a shot by Igor Adama. And Allen Iverson, Steve, has come a long way in the assist department. Well, Philadelphia has put the ball in his hands with the conversion to the point guard spot. He's done a terrific job of getting his teammates involved. an opportunity and able to knock it down and Maurice Keats apparently not liking what he's seeing takes a timeout I like this strategy Mark. call the timeout get set up get a good possession get a good shot off maybe take the lead Iverson gets inside and Allen Iverson blows the layup One minute left in the fourth quarter. Nowitzki again from downtown. And a timeout is called. Or this is where coaches look at their menu of ATOs after timeout plays. Everybody's got them. They're going to look at matchups here, try to pick the best one, and try to get a score. Dallander fires one up. Well, they're trying to give the offense a different look, Marv, going from zone back to the man-to-man. -man. Nowitzki, beautiful move. That's too easy there, Mark. Too easy, and yet they can't convert. Stackhouse coming over with some help defense. Mark, the whole object defensively right now is to play solid defense without fouling. You don't want the clock to stop. You don't want to give anybody easy free throws. as well be aggressive get after it try to cause a steal and if you pick up a foul no problem and timeout taken late here in the fourth Dallas now has one timeout left oh he fouled him intentionally and that'll mean free throws Terry at the line for the... And misses 
both shots. Well, he committed an intentional foul. They're just looking to stop the clock. He'll go to the line. Harris at the line, first time tonight. And he makes them both. And timeout called by Maurice Chiefs. Well, Mark, the big thing here is that it's a two-possession game. So whether you go for a two or a three really doesn't matter. The main thing is get yourself an open shot and then immediately try to force a turnover or commit a foul and get that clock stopped, try to get the ball back. Oh, that's a foul to stop the clock, and he'll go to the line. Stackhouse at the line for the first time. And hits both. Iverson with the shot and scores. Iverson is three for ten from the field. Oh, he fouled him intentionally, and that'll mean free throws. Nowitzki at the line, first time tonight. And Dirk Nowitzki with 18 points. And they clear it out. Down there. Firing. The 76ers able to keep it alive. And Andre Iguodala missed on the foul. The Mavericks are over the foul. Down there to the line. And he makes them both. And timeout with little time left in this one. Avery Johnson probably going to his menu of ATOs, which is after timeout plays, Mark. Every coach in the league has a, a menu of plays that they like to run late in the game. He'll choose one he feels is best here tonight. That's it. This one's over. The final score is 37 to 32. Marv Albert along with Steve Kerr from Wachovia Center.